All right, folks, I'm gonna take you on a little walk. Now, this is a 7-Eleven, and right over there is the uh, Red Planet. And what is that? That's Savannah Hotel. But I had to run here to the 7-Eleven. Uh, but I'm gonna take you, and I'm gonna show you a little hidden American Deli. And if you're from here, you probably know where it's at. You've heard of it. You may, you've probably been there. But if you're not from Angeles City, you're just a little on a little vacation for one week or two weeks. You probably don't know about the spot. But it's an American Deli that is owned or run or somehow affiliated with the same people who own RBI Steakhouse. And to be honest, up until recently, I didn't know the place was here. And I've walked past it a million times, but it's, it's one of those things they desperately need to put a sign out front. And they would, they would get a lot more business. But the other day, one of my buddies turned me on to it and said, hey man, you know, go check out this American Deli next door. And you'll be glad you did. You got good sandwiches in there. So sure enough, I went over there, I checked it out. Great sandwich. I had a, uh, what did I have? Ham and smoked turkey. And for reference, right here is where you get the uh, lichon manok. That's where we get the grilled chicken every night. I recommend that spot right there right across from the uh, tricycle spot right here. I'll give you one more look around. These folks right here. Great Lichon Minot right here at this little intersection. All right. So I was gonna start you out at the Red Planet. Everybody knows where the Red Planet is. But I was at that 7-Eleven right next to the Red Planet. And I said, all right, I'll start the video there. So if you can remember the Red Planet, that's your starting point. If you're coming this way, once you pass that Red Planet, then you'll start looking up here on the left. And you're gonna come past this little construction, it's not a construction site, it's a abandoned building on the other side of this fence little beautiful colored fence here and I'm gonna show you the sign up here because when you go by it pretty fast you're gonna think that it reads something else and I'll try to give you my I'll try to recreate my first visual okay all right so here's what I, you first see right okay beware of fake titles. Yeah, so anyhow, private property, no trespassing. Beware of fake titles. On the other video when I talk about should you buy a horse farm, or not a horse farm, a pig farm, a bar or a hotel you know basically talking about investing folks over here in the philippines you got to be you got to do some uh, true due diligence that sign right there talking about beware of fake titles is there for a reason there's no telling how many times this property has been sold to some unsuspecting foreigner only to realize that it was a fake title. The person selling it to them doesn't own the goddamn property. And it happens. Or you'll lease a place for five years, move in, and then somebody shows up with a lease where they leased it a year ago. And then you gotta pay that joker off. You gotta do, you gotta do some real due diligence over here in the Philippines. If you're if you're dealing with property, that's just the way it is. You got to get a lawyer to check everything out. 
and you got to get another lawyer to check out that lawyer and get a third lawyer to check out both of them lawyers and to recheck their work all right right there is horizon tower one we've been staying in for a while great fucking condo building really gonna miss that place when I have to move out but we will be displacing pretty soon we will certainly miss the folks here great folks and I'm gonna tell you if you're coming to Angeles on a 30-day run you can get a studio room right here that balcony overlooking Clark Airfield. The studio is about 600 a month. You're not going to get a better deal for what you get here. Between this is a brand new building, uh, brand new everything. Great staff, good security, rooftop pool. For 600 for one month. Oh, by the way, badass fiber optic Wi Fi. And you've also got this Royal British medical dental and cosmetic center but right here is where you where you check in to uh, horizon tower one so if you're here for a month uh, 600 bucks for that one month you'd be better off coming here than trying to rent a hotel now on the other side of horizon tower one okay this is the place I'm trying to take you to. Blanchett's American Style Deli and Bakery. So the problem is there's no sign like right here, you got this cottage kitchen and right down there is the gas station, right? So let me just walk you down here so you can see. Uh, there's a Sydney Hotel down that way. So the cottage kitchen, all right, they've got a sign on the side, Cajun Creole Jazz Pub. But right here, Blanchett's has no sign. It's kind of hidden. Even that sign is hidden from this bush over here. But folks, this is a little hidden slice of paradise. Now they are open six days a week from eight to six, and they are closed on Tuesdays. All right, so let's go in here and see what Blanchett's has to offer me today. Hello, my friends. How are you? Hello. Wow, got a, got a beautiful waitress. And, and I'm making a YouTube video. Yeah, so I wanted to show everybody the, uh, the deli here because not many people know about you guys up here. So here's a look around, my friends. And this is a quaint, quaint little spot right here. And maybe they're all scared now because I told them about the YouTube video. But let me just start out right here. Check out these cakes. I think that's carrot cake right there. We had a slice of that the other night. We've got these little blueberry custard and raspberry custard tarts for 50 pesos. Blueberry muffin for 65. Chocolate cake. And how much is the cheesecake? That's 150. Yeah, 150. Okay. All right, so 150 on on the cheesecake. Uh, 175, 150 on these cookies up here. And folks, they do serve beer. You got A and W root beer. You got Coronas, and you, is that Peroni? You yeah. Got, you got Peroni in there. Peroni. Okay. So you got a uh, Peroni beer. And let me take you over here. Let me show you the menu right quick. Let me get my order going. Okay, we're shooting 60 frames, so you should be able to stop this and freeze this. Now, I've been going with the ham and turkey combo, and it comes with a side, and your side options are uh, potato salad, coleslaw, french fries, onion rings, or chips. Okay, so those are, those are the options right there. I think today I'm going to try something a little different. I may go with the uh, roast beef sandwich today and check that out. And on the back we do have some soups. French onions, seafood chowder, 
sausage, lentil, salads. All right, folks, so there you go. There's the phone number. And again, they're closed on Tuesdays. And they sell meat by, you know, by the per hundred grams. So here's a look at some of the selection of, of the meat right here and also the cheeses. Provolone, cheddar, yellow cheddar. You guys all also sell bacon, right? Yeah. You sell bacon? You have bacon too? Yeah. Okay, so they got bacon too. And that's what my buddy was telling me to come up here and check this out. And folks, this is what I gotta try right here. Cause I haven't had these things since I left the US. These are uh, bread and butter pickles. And I think what they told me, these things are made by uh, RBI, by RBI Steakhouse right there. There's also some more stuff. All right, so that's a look around. All right, let me get over here and order what I'm gonna get. And again, I'm gonna I'm gonna go with I'm gonna go with the roast beef today. 325 with a side of what should I go with? Let's go with a coleslaw. Do we have the roast beef today? Yeah. Okay, I'm gonna go with the roast beef, my friend. All right. And I think I'm gonna have to go with. A, I'm gonna have to go with a piece of that cheesecake right there too. And I think while I wait, I'm gonna drink one Peroni. Got to. Also do catering. All right, my friends, so I, got my, I got my order in here. And this beautiful girl, she's so beautiful, but you know what, she don't wanna be on my YouTube video. Cause she said, you know why? She said, cause I'm too cute. What a great answer, right? All right, so I went with the, uh, the roast beef for, what is that, three and a quarter? All the vegetables, mayonnaise, mustard. Got a slice of cheesecake. Taken back to uh, to my ladies up there. They're gonna tear that cheesecake up. Plus, my daughter will probably love that too. But while I'm waiting, I'm gonna drink a nice cold Peroni. Because as I said yesterday in the live stream, I haven't been drinking much. Well, I haven't. Last night I drank two beers. That's the first time in a, a week. That's your beer. Thank you very much. Thank you very much. Like you said, she's too cute to be on YouTube. All right, so we're going with this Peroni. Nice little koozie right there. All right, folks, so this is uh, Blanchett's American Style Deli and Bakery. It's a hidden little gym. Perfect little place. Only problem is, unless somebody tells you about it or you're from here, you're not going to know it. it's here. It's hidden behind this wall next to... Horizon Tower One. So I mean, everything here is on time, but I, if, if I own the place, I would immediately put a sign out there facing the street because this is this is truly a little gym. The Angel Bakery down there next to uh, Ponytails, perfect place as well. Um, I like going down there, eating and drinking uh, the German beer. Excellent food, excellent baked goods. I'll take you on a tour of that place as well. But I think a lot of people know about uh, Angel Bakery. It's right next to Ponytails. But not a lot of people know about Blanchett's American style deli and bakery. I give it two thumbs up. I'm gonna try this roast beef and let you know how, how it tastes, but uh, you know, I've been here several times already and I highly recommend the, uh, yeah, the ham and turkey combo on time. And then potato salad was good too, but today I'm gonna change it up. I'm gonna try the, try the coleslaw. Hmm. So gonna be a great meal for me. And again, there's just a look around. 
I'm tempted to get those a couple of those tarts and I may I may add those to the order before I take them home <clears throat> all right folks here's, here's a look at that peroni I like to have a peroni every now and then when I run across it last one of these I had was in uh, it was actually in Abu Dhabi the last time I had a Peroni. We went to an Italian restaurant, they had them on special. It's a pretty good beer. Definitely hit the spot. Oh yeah. Alright, so looking at this thing right here. Homemade pies, made to order. What does it say? Ask for the pricing and one day notice required. Let me zoom in here. So they got, what is that? Apple pies, cream pies, custard, key lime, lemon, pecan, pumpkin, and more. All right, so they make, make you a pie right here. And also they will do uh, custom made birthday cakes, wedding cakes, the one day notice. All right folks, now this is, this is a treat right here. Organic blue agave, natural sweetener. And we use it in some of our recipes. And it's 800 pesos. So I had to check that out as well. All right, my friends, I just had a long, interesting uh, conversation with the owner. And uh, the owner, um, Al, hey, man, good to meet you, Al. And I should have pulled out the phone while we had this conversation because there was a lot of good information. But as all my subscribers know, I'm not the uh, genius uh, YouTube guy. So all the valuable information, I'm going to have to, like, uh, just redo here but basically what he was saying is this place opened in uh, September it's only been here for four months so I thought they'd been here a long time but it's a new place open in uh, September and uh, Al and his partner well I don't know about his partner but Al said he's from the US from uh, Detroit and so this little slice of Americana right here they do all their their own baking in the back they make uh, uh, a lot of their own meats and everything and everything that I showed you on the one shelf with the cheese all that stuff is imported you know top quality ingredients and I'm gonna tell you another little added bonus right and we, we were talking about the sign you know there's no sign out front like facing the road and so they're they're working on a solution to that but I'm telling you if you just come to Horizon Tower 1 it's right here on the other side of the wall it's well worth the trip up here. Let me show you another added bonus, right? And check this out. Folks, if you come here and you buy five sandwiches, okay? Five sandwiches, you're gonna get one free. Okay, now let me show you the price of this, all right? I got a roast beef today uh, for $3.25. That's uh, $6.50, $6.50 US. If I buy, I've only got to buy five sandwiches and I am looking at a free sandwich, my friends. And I'm going to tell you right now, if you've ever been to Southeast Asia, there ain't much that's free. There is, there is not much that's free, especially in the Philippines. So I'm going to tell you right now, five sandwiches and you get a free sandwich, that is a steal right there. And the, the ladies the other night gave me this card, and I made sure that I did not leave the condo without this card. And it was kind of funny because I had the thing in my pocket, and Al reminded me, he's like, hey, did you get a card? I'm like, oh man, I almost forgot. You know, I almost forgot to give it to her. It was in my pocket, but we got to talking, so man, thanks for reminding me. But folks, right there, buy five sandwiches, get one free great little great little spot right here only been open four months well worth the, the tricycle ride just take a trike up here 
If they don't know Blanchett's, just tell them Horizon Tower One, and it's just on the right side of the wall, just just right next door, right next to that. Uh, what the hell is that place called? Country Cottage, Country Kitchen, whatever it is. All right, so I'm gonna pay the bill. I got a roast beef sandwich, slice of cheesecake for my ladies, side of coleslaw comes with the sandwich. And when I get get back up in the condo, I'll break it open. I'm gonna show it to you, okay? But I'm gonna roll out because they're waiting on me up there. Hey, folks. Highly recommend it. Come check it out. Tell them Marco sent you. Folks, check this out. I got my roast beef sandwich with a side of coleslaw to go. With a slice of cheesecake from my ladies. Right here, Blanchett's American style deli and bakery. And, oh, shit. All right, folks, and look, it's right next to the Cottage Kitchen, Cajun Creole Jazz Pub. And I may stop in there and check that out. I have no idea what that uh, place has to offer, but it looks interesting. So the next video might be at the Cottage Kitchen, Cajun Creole. Now, folks, as I was sitting in there, uh, I did get to talk to uh, one of the owners, Al. Hey, man, like I said, it was nice to meet you. I talked to uh, uh, my other buddy from uh, San Francisco area, and man, I had that beer, and I'm horrible with names, and you said you're going to subscribe to my channel when you got back. Shoot me a message, man. It was a pleasure to meet you, our, uh, our conversation, and, and folks, while I was sitting in there, uh, another gentleman walked in, then a table of four gentlemen. So for four months, this place is it's a busy place. And there's a reason for it, because the damn food is on time. Just high quality ingredients, especially if you're from America. This is a little slice of Americana. And if you show up, Al said he's here every day. And I told him, I said, hey man, I tell everybody to tell them that uh, Marco sent you. So if you see the owner, Al, one of the owners, uh, just tell them Marco sent you not going to get you a discount but he'll laugh and he will he will know who sent you up there all right one last look around all right we're right there there's a gas station the cottage kitchen and some, some bars up there Sydney Hotel and I think there's a bar up there called the orange bar all right but there you go so just tell the tricycle driver take you to Horizon Tower and come on the other side of this wall and you will be You will be in a little slice of paradise my friends All right, let me go tear into this. I'm gonna show you the quality and I am looking forward to chow down on my roast beef sandwich Yeah Boop on this Man, I can't wait to tear that up my Goodness, I'm talking about that's some delicious, delicious food right there, folks. These Filipinos are going to tear up that piece of cheesecake like champions, like goddamn alligators. My god. All right, here we go. It's my takeout order, folks. My wife is over here eyeing my meal, but I, she's already ate. And I asked her if she wanted something. What'd you say, baby? You said no, right? Oh my goodness, look at that roast beef sandwich. Oh my goodness, folks. That is on time. Man, oh man. Now let me pop the top on this coleslaw over here. Oh yeah. I'm going to have to cut that bad boy in half. All right, now let me show you what I got for my Filipinas over here. Now, Helen of Troy is at a birthday party for a family member. Ooh, I turned it over. I knew I turned the damn thing over. Look at that piece of cheesecake, my friends. I flipped it over because I was swinging the bag. Mmm, strawberries on top. What do you think, baby? 
She is, my, my wife is over here looking at that. And she's not supposed to be eating sweets because she's about to give birth any day, but she, she's gonna tear into this. There's, I can't stop her. There is no physical way that you can stop a pregnant woman from tearing into that right there because it's just too delicious. All right, I gotta get me a knife and ch chop this bad boy in half. My goodness, that's a roast beef sandwich. And I'm gonna let you know the taste, my friends. All right, folks. Got this fucking sandwich chopper here. And it, I had to get a big knife. I gotta get a big knife to chop this damn sandwich in half because it is a big sandwich. Let me chop this bad boy. My God. This looks absolutely delicious. I'll try to chop this without tearing up the box. Cutting into my table here. Oh my goodness, that bread is fresh. Mmm. Man, oh man, folks. Just take a look at that roast beef right there. Mmm. 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 Let me sink my teeth into this sandwich. Why don't you take a look at that right there? Take a look at that. Look at that cross section. Hmm. Mmm. Mm. My God. On time, my friends. Wow. You get me a damn fork where I can eat my coleslaw and check it out. All right, folks. Look at that coleslaw right there. Let me give you an honest opinion on this guy. Mmm. Oh yeah. I should have got me an extra cup of this. Mm. Folks. Mmm, that is absolutely delicious. The previous times I've had the turkey and ham combo. Mmm, I kept going with that, but today I forced myself to try something different. I'm glad I did. That roast beef is on time. Either one of those sandwiches you can't go wrong with. I get all the vegetables that comes with it. I think I went with the Swiss, Swiss cheese today. A little mayonnaise mustard and it is it is absolutely delicious and I'll tell you what my wife's not gonna like this but let me give you an honest assessment of that cheesecake okay I'm not gonna eat it all I'm just gonna take one bite maybe a big one Just a taste. Check out that cheesecake. I went with the strawberry topping. I think you can get uh, raspberry or blueberry. I went with a strawberry. Mmm. Baby, we're gonna have to 50-50 this, all right? I, I got this for you, but there's been a change in uh, plans, all right? Yeah, that's just the way it is. Folks, recommend the cheesecake. Strawberry topping, 100%. No, we're not going to 50-50 that because you already ate. She's trying to 50-50 my sandwich, but she's done eight. We will 50-50 the cheesecake, though. Hey, folks, thanks for joining me. 
thanks for uh, riding along today on my little outing to get lunch. Showed you where it's at. Uh, great staff in there. Same staff every every day. They are closed on Tuesdays. Don't forget. Don't forget to ask them for your your free sandwich card. You know, buy five sandwiches, get a free sandwich. That's 300 pesos free. If you've been in the Philippines at any given time, <coughs> any amount of time, ain't much free over here on this side of the world. That's a deal. <clears throat> I gotta eat. All right, enough talking. <laughs> I got a beautiful meal here. And if you're not a subscriber, hit that Overstay Road sign, bottom right hand corner of your screen. Become a subscriber. Food, beer, and visas with a lot of chaos mixed in, my friends. Let me give a big shout out to the J Dog, Pablo Escobar, and Downtown Brown, Doc Wayne, Crazy Mike, and Big Money Benny down at the festival down in Cebu. I'm out, folks. Time to eat. Thanks for uh... <laughs> it's my daughter on a walker firing it up. Hey, thanks for joining me. Thanks for being a subscriber. Peace out.